triple scalar product for coplanar vectors in R3. Now this is a very important concept which I thought I should discuss with you. Now, let's consider any two vectors in a plane and we are considering this plane of paper. Let's say we have a vector A here and a vector B. Now we are saying this is vector A and this is vector B. Now if we have A cross B if I do A cross B, then what do I get? Then we get a vector which is perpendicular to both the vectors and whose direction is given by the right hand rule. So A cross B means we'll curl our fingers in this direction. That's the theta angle between them. And once we do that, the thumb will point towards the direction of arrow or the cross product, so which will be vertically. So that is A cross B for us. So in this case, we have A cross B which is coming out of this page and is perpendicular to this page. So that is what A cross B is. Now it also means that if I do dot product of vector A with A cross B, I should get zero, right? So if I do A dot A cross B, I should get 0 since A cross B is at right angles to A and dot product with right angles is 0. Similarly, if I do B dot A cross B, I should get what? 0 since B is in the plane of this paper and A cross B is perpendicular. So these two vectors are perpendicular and therefore the dot product with A cross B will be 0. Now, if I have a third vector, also in the same plane, let's say somewhere here, or for that matter, let's say here, but in the same plane, and let's say this vector is x, any vector, x for us, then what do you think will be x dot a cross b? Now, the angle between this vector a cross b and x is also going to be 90 degrees. So this is also 0, right? So in all these cases, all the vectors in the plane of A and B, right, will be perpendicular to A cross B, right? Therefore, the dot product of those vectors with A cross B will be 0. So we say that all the vectors which are in the same plane as A and B will have that dot product as zero. This is kind of very important property. So we call this scalar triple product. So, so what we have come across here is a property. So any vector x on the plane of this paper dot product with a cross b where a and b are vectors in this plane you'll find this to be zero. So what we conclude from here that if A and B are vectors in a plane, then we conclude that A dot A cross B equals to zero, right? B dot a cross B equal to 0 and X dot A cross B equals to 0. Where what is X? X is any coplanar vector. Do you see that? So any vector which is in the plane of A and B when we do dot product with A cross B will get zero. So if, if the dot product of the three vectors, I mean, if the dot product of a vector with the cross product of the other two vectors is zero, then the three vectors are coplanar, right? So this is extremely important property and we have a name for this. Since dot product gives you a scalar quantity, so we call it triple scalar product. So it is called triple 
scalar product and triple scalar product one of its application is that if dot product I mean one of the main application of triple scalar product is that if it is zero then all the vectors involved are coplanar it's kind of a must they are coplanar and we'll soon learn another property if if this is not zero right then they are not coplanar so they'll form a 3d figure correct so it will be helpful to find volume in that case of that 3d figure so so that is the other application of triple scalar product but here i hope you can appreciate that scalar triple product being zero is indicating that all the vectors involved are coplanar. So if you have to prove that three given vectors are coplanar, the only thing you have to do is to find scalar triple product, right? And you'll note in this, the order does not matter. So you could even do X cross A and then dot it with B, right? And of course, cross product has to be done first because you cannot have cross product between scalar and a vector. If you do dot product, you get a scalar, right? Then you can't do the cross product. So, so the order doesn't matter here. So, if there are three vectors and you want to prove them to be coplanar, then do cross product of any two of them and dot product with the third. If you get zero, then they're coplanar. If you don't get zero, they are not coplanar. So that is the concept. I hope you appreciate it. Thank you.